Hey, it's your boy Josh, also known as J-Town, also known as Pork Diddy, also known as Slop Slop. And I'm also known for doing weird things with food like taking two different snacks and smashing them together to create one delicious monstrosity. We asked you what snacks we should smash together and you overwhelmingly chose Sour Patch Kids and Beef Jerky. Interesting. Is this snack gonna be a smash? Find out. This is Snack Smash. <laughs> All right, so the phrase Sour Patch Beef Jerky uh, means nothing. And that means I have to figure out what to actually do to turn that into reality. So we're gonna start by slicing up our beef jerky. We got this beautiful piece of top round here. So that's gonna be like a relatively lean cut of beef. Once you start to get a lot of fat and connective tissue in there, when it dries out, it's really gonna kind of shrink up and lose its shape. So you want some leanness in there. You wanna look for the lightest colored beef so the food dye really comes through. That's the thing I never thought I would say about cooking but I never thought I'd do a lot of the things I do here, and look at me now. All right, that should be enough to get us started. So now, we gotta hammer out our children. I'm just gonna punch out thick child of beef. You can't just cut through it like you would with cookie dough, so that's why I have this here beef hammer. That's the official name of this tool, and also my nickname in high school. And all it takes is a quick one, too. And then now your thick children should be able to just kind of punch out of that beef. Gingerbread men get all the press, but gingerbread children, much more tender, much more influenceable. Here's our first thick beef child, also known as gingerbread meat. And now we just got 200 more to go. And then we're gonna take those, and then we're gonna have to make some sort of marinating solution. So beef jerky, typically you'll have a lot of super savory flavors in there. I think I'm gonna start with a fair amount of sugar, right? Cause that's gonna get all the sweetness in there and a lot of beef jerky has sugar in it. So we're just gonna go ahead and dump. Probably looking at about a three to one sugar to salt ratio. You got soy sauce. Don't want it to change the color too much. We can always just do straight up MSG to really like punch home that beefy flavor. Oh God, that's good. I'm just gonna add that right in there. Oh my God, it's like you just drank a quart of ramen broth. It's just like, oh, it's so good. Liquid smoke is another thing because a lot of these flavors will be like hickory smoked or something like that. And then citric acid because this is Sour Patch beef jerky. So we gotta get the sour in there. That's a fair amount but we don't just want this beef to taste like candy. We want it to taste equally like beef jerky and the candy because what are we doing? We're smack smashing, snack smashing, I don't know. All right, so we're throwing yeast in there too because that's on the ingredients of Jack Link's. Just gonna add more savoriness, give it a little whisk. It should just be like a huge punch to the face from this uh, thick gummy beef child of a lot of different flavors. Wow. That's sour and smoky. And then it also just has that huge MSG umami pop. I think I want even more sugar in there though, because I really want to candy this meat. So now we have our base marinade and then we're gonna add our artificial flavors and our colors to different little marinating pots. And then that's gonna get tossed in food dye. So we got some orange dye here and then all the artificial flavors that this beef can handle. It's gonna be a lot. In theory, you'd wanna measure it. That seems like a lot. It should be fine. You want the flavor to really come through. Then we got yellow. One, two, three, four, five. Add way more extract than you need. You want it to smell like a Lysol wipe. So you're gonna go green, which is lime. About five drops. Great. We got our red, which is the red berry flavor. It's not a fruit. It's just kinda like, do they not decide which red berry they liked? Like there were two people in the marketing office and one was just like, I, it should be strawberry. And the other's like, it should be raspberry. And they're just like, well fine, it's a red berry. And some cherry extract. Okay, so now when we pour the marinade in there, yes, look at all that color. <laughs> and we just need to whisk all these up. God, it smells like a laundry room in here. Like when you get all the steam from the dryer, but someone's using like a real heavily scented thing and it kind of like makes you a little bit nauseous inside because you were eating sushi in the laundry room, which is something I used to do because there was a laundromat right next to a Ralph's that had like a really good sushi bar in it. So now we're just gonna take a couple of these little beef children and throw them in the marinade. Sleep sweet, sweet beef children. Probably gonna let it sit for like a day or something. It should get nice and colored and look like real jarring. I'm, I'm assuming this is gonna look uh, wild and offensive. Wow, it's one day later. That's so crazy how that happened. And now these beefs are all marinated. And then we're gonna throw that in a dehydrator and then just let that dehydrate and then we can start working on the rest of the Sour Patch stuff. And you can see the food dye has worked and it's made them all nice and pretty. The yellow ones, those just look diseased and they may be. 
And so we have our dehydrator here. That's where these are going into. It's also good for drying socks. Sometimes when I get home from the gym, I'll just take off my socks. I got a bit of a foot sweat problem. I'm not ashamed of it. And I'll just put them in there and it'll just kind of dry them out real nice. And then we're just gonna dry it off with paper towels as much as we can. And then you can hang this up in your room. Now, the first step to a dehydrator is you're gonna go ahead and have your coworker Nicole uh, burn the front of it on a hot burner until it's just completely melted. It was an accident. I think jerkifying is a really underutilized cooking method. I think you should be jerkifying a lot of things. Jerkified snake, jerkified shrimp. You wanna stay away from any endangered animals when you're making jerky. The Javan white rhinoceros, though tasty, I agree. Uh, probably just like leave them be. All right, and then that's gonna go in the dehydrator. And then you're just going to set it to run for about five hours. Let's call it five hours, that seems right. Then that's just gonna suck out all the moisture and that's what actually prevents bacteria from forming onto your beef, which is what makes beef jerky so shelf stable. And then we're gonna figure out the rest of the candy from there. Hello, you might be wondering, Josh, why are you interrupting your own show? Are you a narcissist? No, I'm actually very self-conscious and often wonder what my purpose in life is. Maybe you can help answer that question by subscribing to the Mythical YouTube channel. If enough of you subscribe, I'll get to keep doing this and maybe I'll understand what it means to truly be happy. Hi, I'm Josh. Wow, so much hours have passed and now our beef is dehydrated. That's incredible. How did that happen? We have to do a very thin candy coating on the outside of the beef jerky. I don't want to make it a full on gummy texture. I don't want this to just be like a nugget of beef hiding inside this thick gummy child. I want it to be a thick beef child surrounded in a very thin layer of gummy. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start by getting gelatin to bloom. You gotta do that before you add it to the hot so it doesn't clump up. You're gonna add three and a quarter tablespoons. Nicole, the bowl's too small. You're a disaster. The bowl's too small. You're what? Human. I didn't do that. So we're just gonna let that gelatin bloom and then we have water heating on the stove and we're gonna get a lot of sugar in there. We're not trying to go full gummy candy, just like a thin jelly coating. We don't wanna obstruct that beautiful thick child beef flavor. I want this to be a little bit more delicate on the palate, so it almost dissolves in your mouth and then just uh, turns into like a, an old steak that you've left out on the counter for a couple days, which I am not above doing. I checked to make sure it was sugar this time. I did this once and it was pure MSG that I put into a recipe. <laughs> a little, just a little bit of sugar, just, a, just, a, just a little bit of sugar in there. And then a lot of citric acid, because we still want this to be sour on all levels. So we got our water solution boiling and now we just have to take this bloom gelatin and we're gonna add it into there. And then you're gonna stir that quickly so it all dissolves in. And then we're gonna let this cook down for a little bit just to remove some of that moisture and get the gelatin heated. Then we're gonna cool that down, coat our pieces of beef. All right, so now your jelly coating is fully combined, a little bit reduced. We're gonna get that into a bowl that isn't hot. Let it cool down a little bit. Ah, okay, it's cool. And then we're gonna take our dehydrated little beef boys <laughs> And then we're gonna get them coated in a nice thin layer. We're gonna dehydrate it for just a little bit to get nice and tacky. And then you gotta get them back in the dehydrator after they're nice and coated because they've been very bad kids. They've been slicing the baguette wrong and they're going to the dehydrator. Because <laughs> as everyone knows in France, they're called very bad kids and not Sour Patch Kids. Which is why they get punished. <laughs> To become very good kids, what they need to do is they need to actually turn the baguette 45 degrees clockwise. That way you don't crush it from the top and you actually have more structural integrity from the sides to slice through. Quick strokes, children, on the bread knife. And then just maybe like 15 minutes till it starts to tighten up. And then you can hit it with the final sugar coating. Your hands stick together when you're covered in gelatin. <laughs> It's the final step now. So a Sour Patch Kid is typically just covered in pure sugar, right? So first it's sweet, then it's, no, first it's sour, then it's, what do they say it is? First it's sour, then it's meat. The sugar coating on the outside is a little bit sweet, a little bit sour. You only get a taste memory in your mind. So then you can try and recreate that with the proper amount of tartaric acid, citric acid, malic acid, and sugar. And so this is gonna be the first thing that hits your palate, right? So it's actually really important. Dump that in there. And then citric acid is gonna be the weakest of your acids. And that's just gonna get the like. You know the like, you like sip. You know what I'm talking about. Followed by tartaric and then malic. I don't know what that is, but it sounds like a really cool metal band that I'd listen to. These two are a lot more kind of industrial strength. And this is just kind of a common pantry item. And be really light with it. Malic acid is very, very strong. That is gonna be the super sour stuff. That's like what warheads are made out of. 
So if you want to sell the Sour Patch nature of these thick beef children, you want to hit it with a super heavy acid on the outside. Tom Cruise from Cocktail, never seen the movie, heard good things. Let's see where we're at. <laughs> Ooh! Hey, can I have a little bit more sugar? Get that in there. Okay, that's actually perfect now. The gummies of a Sour Patch Kid are the things that are actually colored, right? And the outside is just pure sugar and different kinds of acid. But for us, since beef is so dark, it doesn't hold the food dye all that well. So we're actually going to color our sugar. I think the roof of my mouth is bleeding from the first attempt. <laughs> nah. <laughs> so we're gonna add some blue powdered food dye. And we're gonna pour in our sugar to this. Give that a shake to get it all incorporated. Should have some beautiful royal blue sugar. Mmm, your poop's gonna be weird colored for a while. Take out our beefs. And then these are, ooh, nice and tacky, that's great. Get them nice and covered in the sugar. Actually let them sit there for a second to like really absorb all of it. And we're gonna take that, put it there. All right, your hands are dry. Sprinkle a little bit of fresh sugar. There we go on top. And I think that's Sour Patch Beef Jerky. We're about to find out. That's Sour Patch Beef Jerky. Let's eat some jerked meats. Uh, I gotta make uh, all the rest of these with all the other sugars. <laughs> so I've dyed like half myself blue and my gum started to itch from all the malic acid and I think I'm still bleeding in my mouth. But hey, the good news is we're gonna have some of the mythical crew come in and actually try this. But before that, let's throw to that really sweet packaging. Throw to the really sweet pack, do it. Just throw to the sweet packaging. Throw to the, I need to rinse my mouth out. As many of you fine commenters suggested, I have two unbiased peers here to decide whether or not this snack is a smash or a brash mistake. Yeah! Woo! Nailed that one. Yeah, that worked. Yeah, All right, you guys ready to taste it? Yeah, I have no idea what we're tasting. So today, what we have is Sour Patch Beef Jerky. Jesus Louise. Dang. This is a real wild card. You guys ready? Yeah, that yep. okay. window is crazy. Thank you, it's wet. Take that, Chase. You no, thank you. A little bit wet. Thank Ellie, you want orange, yeah, red, wet. or the yellow's kind of got yeah, some stuff on it. I'll take a red one. Yeah. <laughs> Do we do a okay. tip and dip thing or a sure. think and... Oh. No touch! Oh, okay. 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 First it's sour, but then it's, it's meat. <laughs> <laughs> First it's sour, then they're meat. I thought it was sugar that I was oh tasting. Oh my god. But I think it is the meat. Honestly, can't say I don't like it. Right? You're really, first you get like all that candy, all the sour, it's all so, the sweet. It's so overwhelming. And it's beef jerky. Why is the color coming out on my fingers? We put way too much food dye in it. Good, good, good. Chase, how are you feeling about it? I don't think that I'm happy, but I can't really tell. Can I convince you that you are happy? Yeah, you often do. Thank so. you. Can I say that mm -hmm. my experience of eating beef jerky is always like, what a bad idea. Mm -hmm. And then I eat it and I don't like it. And no. then I keep chewing and I do like it. And I have to say, Opposite experience here. I do like it. It's very sugary. I love sugar. Mm -hmm. And then it turns into a weird beef chewing gum. Yeah, okay. Yeah. For me, it's just, I've never had like a sour meat that I liked. Mm. And like, this is the closest I've ever come to liking like a soured <laughs> thing, beef product. Truly best effort, for sure. Thank you. Uh, I'm no just thanks. too confused to understand <laughs> to like, yeah, go back for more. So you're saying that this snack doesn't quite smash. That this probably Jack Links and Sour Patch probably shouldn't link together to feed this to children. Is that, it's definitely an experience I'll never forget. I'll take that, you know? Like it's easy to make good food, it's easy to make bad food, but it's hard to make food that makes people think. I'm glad I did this. Oh. I'm glad that I had that. I'm glad that I'm here with my friends. Hey. Aw. And that's the real snack smash. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching, and if you want to watch more content like this, subscribe to the Mythical channel, more subscribers we get, more shows we can make. Let me know in the comments what snacks you want to see smash next time. I'll see you later. Is my mouth stained? Really? <laughs> Look, is it blue? I got blue on the shirt? No, this is a merch shirt available at mythical.store. That's so ashamed. That's so shameful that I got blue on it.